You might think you already know what Microsoft 365 Copilot can do for you. Draft some of your emails, summarize a Teams meeting, maybe help with a PowerPoint here and there. Does all of that sound familiar? Well, just when you're getting comfortable with Copilot, Microsoft have dropped seven brand new features that might just change the way that you work yet again. Yes, we're talking about new Copilot capabilities that can now create data tables from an image inside of Excel, transform handwritten notes into Word documents, and even draft emails with your own personal style. And today, I'm going to show you how to achieve all of that and more. And it doesn't stop there, because wait to the end, and I'll even show you a cool new feature for project managers inside of Microsoft Planner, which you won't want to miss. And by the end of this tutorial, you're going to see some real practical features that's going to save you hours of work. So let's get into it. So let's check out the first change with Microsoft 365 Copilot inside of Outlook. We can now have Copilot draft our emails with personalization. Head over to the Copilot option in the new version of Outlook or Outlook on the web and select settings. In here, you'll see a new option for draft instructions. This now tells Copilot how to use custom instructions when it's drafting your emails the tone, length, greeting, and more. By selecting the option to use custom instructions when drafting email, we'll now go ahead and ask Copilot to draft all emails, beginning with hi rather than hello, also using a certain type of English language, and also the ideal length of the email. Selecting save, we can test this out. Head over to Outlook again, and we can reply to one of my early emails. Select draft with Copilot, we can now select from a suggested prompt. Let's go ahead and discuss suppliers more. Using now the custom instructions inside of Outlook, Copilot will now begin to draft the email. We can now see it's added in the correct greeting to Alex. That now ensures that when you're working with Copilot and Outlook, you can now have custom instructions to draft emails in a way that's personal to you. And in Microsoft Word on the web, you will now be able to also extract data like text from images, either a picture from your phone or an image from your computer. To do that, head over to the Copilot option on the right hand side and select the plus icon at the bottom of your prompt. Select add an image and now you can upload from your device or from your own phone. Select upload from phone and new capability now allows you to scan this QR code and upload the photo directly from your own phone's gallery. I'll go ahead and upload a copy of some meeting notes I written by hand so Copilot can extract it and bring it in to our Word document. And we'll see in real time that the image is processed by Copilot and begins to extract all the image taken directly from that handwritten piece of paper that I took an image on my phone of. I can now select insert and bring it into my Word document and now work with Copilot to also update and summarize this information. And with our meeting notes now tidied up in Microsoft Word, let's head over to the Copilot option and insert a handy summary. Copilot now takes the content extracted from my own paper document and now provides a handy summary to summarize the meeting notes I've taken from the meeting. All done in just minutes, taking a piece of paper with notes, bringing it into Word, extracting the content and summarizing it really quickly. But you may be thinking, can we also do this in Microsoft Excel? with tables you've taken a picture of, or maybe a screenshot you've taken from a report. You absolutely can. Open an Excel on the web, head to your Copilot sidebar, and at the bottom of your Copilot prompt, you'll see a button to add an image. The same options also as shown in Word. Upload from this device or from your phone. Let's change this now by uploading the picture from my own computer, including some information on a vehicle leasing agreement. It adds the image into the Copilot prompt, and I can simply ask Copilot to extract this information to be used in a table. And once again, just like we saw in Word, the Excel information is now available to us, extracting it with the help of Copilot. It even understands what the table of data relates to. We can see this all shown here in the extract. But it'd be more handy to use it directly in Excel, wouldn't it? Or we can simply select Insert to New Sheet. And we can now see here, it's been inserted directly into our Excel as a table to use. We can also work with Excel to summarize this information or get more insights from it. As an example, we can also use a new piece of a capability in Excel. 
Highlighting our table, you'll now see a handy Copilot icon appears next to any data that you select inside of your Excel data. We could create a customized table with the help of Copilot to further customize this. But in addition, we can also use other options. Possibly a new formula could help with our table. From a simple left click, now inserts that prompt into the Copilot sidebar. And what we can now see is it can add a new total monthly cost into our table. Select insert column and we now see a calculation of the total monthly payment plus the insurance payment for the vehicle showing the total monthly cost. So this new option inside of Excel will give you access to Copilot more quickly and also provide more easier options inside of the sidebar. But taking data from a flat image, converting it into a table and inserting additional formulas has now been done in minutes by using Copilot and some of this new capability inside of Excel. If you're watching this and thinking, well, Scott, how do we actually roll Copilot out across our team? Well, you're not alone. Because at Your365 Coach, we help teams just like yours adopt Copilot with confidence. Whether that's through live training sessions tailored for your team's needs, or on-demand learning courses built around real use cases, we can certainly help. So if you're ready to take Copilot beyond the basics, head to our website link below and discover how me and the team at Your365 Coach can support your journey in Copilot and transform the way that you work. So let's get back to finding out what else is new in Copilot. And before we leave Excel, here's another new feature with Copilot. Using Excel on the web and creating a brand new workbook, you'll now be prompted to start with Copilot, allowing you to create easier content with the help of Copilot. You can see suggested prompts that will help with Copilot creating you a table. For example, you could select from one of these prompts, maybe creating a table to track sales lead status and progress. Selecting this adds a short prompting to start with Copilot. And you'll now see that Copilot begins to create a table to match your request and even can fill it with example data to see that how this data could be used in your table. This also adds things like conditional formatting. We can see the probability of closing percentages has some conditional formatting attached, as does the status. If you don't want any example data, you can simply uncheck it to remove that from your table, but it's quite handy to see how this could work by inserting it. If you want to make a change to what Copilot creates, you can also left click into describe any changes that you want to make and ask Copilot to add a further custom column into what it's created for you to also make it further refined for your needs. And we can see that here because I'm asking Copilot to insert an address column. By sending that into Copilot, it begins to update the entire table. Yes, it begins to create the entire table once again, but this time it will now include the address column and also some more sample data. So we can now see that if you're unsure how to use Excel and also adding elements like conditional formatting, then now Copilot via that single prompt at the start of the experience now allows you to create Excel content quickly that you can work with with you and your team. And there's new changes that you can now work with Copilot in PowerPoint with, and that's all around creating presentations. By selecting new in PowerPoint, you can create with Copilot. But this time, as well as giving Copilot a prompt, you can now select from different designs. By selecting change design, you can access recent designs you've worked with or designs your organization have shared with you as part of their organizational templates for their brand designs and more. But also in the Microsoft 365, you have access to a range of different designs you could utilize. For example, let's select the modern geometry design. By selecting select design, we can now give Copilot our prompt to create the presentation for us, all around the topic that we need to focus on. By giving Copilot the prompt to create a presentation about the rise of mobile phone usage, Copilot, just like before, begins now to create the outline of the slides it will create for us, allowing us to adjust or make changes. And there we go. We now see our PowerPoint has been created with the help of that visual theme we selected. You could do that with these different themes in Microsoft 365 or your own organizational branding. But also, there's been a problem with Copilot and PowerPoint in the past. I used to be able to create one single slide with Copilot, but before, using Copilot, you used to replace the whole deck. 
Now we can easily select the location of a new slide. From the ribbon bar, select New Slide with Copilot and Copilot can generate one single slide. But that's referencing an existing Word file that you've got stored in one of your Microsoft Teams or OneDrive or giving it a prompt about what you'd like to create a slide about. Use the same design across your slides, which you'll also see by generating a new slide to be inserted into our PowerPoint deck. And by giving a prompt into Copilot, add in a slide about the use of phones in modern day society and the need for close communication, Copilot, rather than generating the whole deck, now begins to work on that one single slide. And there we go, the slide is now completed. Phones in modern society, been inserted into location that I've selected and just one single slide. The rest of the deck remains unchanged and the design theme is also continually used. So another new feature, making its way into PowerPoint and in Copilot. And here's that bonus tip you've been waiting for. Inside of the new Microsoft Planner Experience in Project Manager, which is AI enabled, we can now have Project Manager generate a status report to be shared with your peers. So if you've got a complex report and over 10 tasks, you can use this with the help of a Copilot license. By selecting reports and then selecting get started, we can cover the reporting period for the status report being the last quarter and ask your project manager to focus on what the status report should cover. I'm going to ensure it covers all of the different tasks and the progress made over the period of the quarter. Selecting generate, will now take a few minutes to generate our new status report and it's going to be generated as a Microsoft Loop file, meaning we can share it with your team and also collaborate on it further and make adjustments. So let's return back in a moment and see what Project Manager created for us. And as we can see here, the Project Manager has now completed its status report. We can see the date of the report, the reporting period, the project owner, and we can see an executive summary about the status being on track a task completion chart, and we also have the key milestones mapped out. We also see all the work in progress, upcoming action items, and what we also need to do in the details. And we can also see who generated it with the help of AI. Now, of course, you could make adjustments by simply over typing this information. You can make adjustments because this is powered by Microsoft Loop capabilities. But what about sharing it with your colleagues? Well, you could do that in your SharePoint site. Our Microsoft Planner Premium Plan is attached to our Microsoft Group, and that in turn is a SharePoint site. So we can select Share as Newsletter, and I can now have our new status report automatically generated as a SharePoint page, stored on our SharePoint site that me and the team have access to. And in a single click of a button, you'll now find the status report is added into SharePoint. The status, the project summary, milestones, highlights, challenges, delays, and more. Created, you can now easily save it into SharePoint and share it with your team. And when you're ready, go ahead and select Post and Send. Once it's posted, how about sharing it with your team on an email? You even have a dialogue that you can literally see on the screen here showing how it could be displayed in Outlook. And when you're ready, go ahead, type in your team members and you can handily share it as a single Outlook email. I wonder how this looks in Microsoft Outlook? Well, here you go here. You can see it directly on the screen. We've now created a project status update, shared it with SharePoint as a news post and an email, all generated by Project Manager and AI capabilities. So what do you think of these new Copilot features? Because for me, they definitely feel like a shift. Something that's actually changing how we work every day in the tools that we use every day. Yes, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and more. So let me know in the comments whether you're impressed, surprised, or still waiting for that one elusive feature. I'd love to hear how you're using Copilot in your team and what you're hoping it'll do next for you. If this video also gave you a few ideas or just made you feel a little bit more powerful with the tools you already have like Copilot, please do hit that like button and let me know. And if you're not already part of our Your365 community here, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single update every single week. Other than that, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.